Good morning and welcome to St. Alphonsus Rodriguez on this Friday in the third week of Ordinary Time. We continue our Eucharistic reflections on the real presence of Christ. Barry Frederick has been giving us his reflections taken from the book by Dr. Ed Shree, A Biblical Walk Through the Mass. Several weeks ago, he reflected on the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. His next reflection focused on the real presence of Christ. And today, he will talk about Holy Communion. Having previously talked about the first key aspect of Eucharist as the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, where sacramentally we are made present with Christ at Calvary, and having talked about the second aspect of Eucharist as the real presence of Jesus, where the bread and wine become his real body, blood, soul, and divinity, we now move on to the third aspect of Eucharist, Holy Communion. During the Jewish Passover, not only was a sacrificial lamb killed, but it was also eaten as part of the Passover celebration as described in Exodus chapter 12, verses eight to 12. Therefore, from the time of Moses, there became a biblical pattern of sacrifice and then communion as Dr. Ed Shree describes in his book, A Biblical Walk Through the Mass. Likewise, during Holy Communion, Jesus is the new Passover lamb, sacrificed for our sins on the cross, culminating with a meal where we receive the sacrificial lamb of God, Jesus Christ himself. Dr. Shri points out that St. Paul in Corinthians 1, chapter 5, verses 7 to 8 says, Christ, our Paschal lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival. St. Paul says that the festive meal is the Eucharist. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 16 to 17, St. Paul describes how we are unified with Christ when we participate in the Eucharist. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Holy Communion is therefore the height of our Eucharistic celebration as explained in the Catechism number 1382. The Catechism states, The celebration of the Eucharistic sacrifice is wholly directed toward the intimate union of the faithful, with Christ through communion. To receive communion is to receive Christ himself who has offered himself for us. During Holy Communion, Christ enters our body much like he stayed in Mary's body for nine months before he was born. This is the most intimate time we have with Christ and therefore it is a time to quiet ourselves and communicate our love, thankfulness, and our need for him to help us on our spiritual journey. So the next time you are at Mass, think about Christ's sacrifice, which redeemed your sins. Think about his real presence as the priest gives you the sacred bread. And think about Holy Communion as an opportunity to be with Jesus in the most intimate and loving way. Have a holy Friday and a great weekend.